Good morning. My name is Dave and I'm a long haul truck driver in North America. Welcome to my channel. No truck driving in this video. Today we're flying out to Quebec, my wife and I. Still got to take these two to the kennels yet. We're just getting ready now to take them. And we're going to head up to Winnipeg to the airport, get the car parked and um, get checked in, ready to go. So that's us. We're on our way up to the kennels now, drop these two off. I think they're pretty excited about going on their holidays too.
Today's parade marks the culmination of many weeks of training for the candidates. The basic training course is the first stage of their career. The course is given in both official languages and trains candidates in drill, general military knowledge, and other related topics. This course is very demanding physically and mentally. By graduation day, the candidates will have learned a great deal about the Canadian forces, their fellow, Camarade, and most importantly, about themselves. They will have expanded their horizon and will have been made aware that pre previous physical and mental limitations are no longer valid. The graduates are capable of performance far in excess of what was considered unreachable upon arrival. This is a very important factor as each candidate face a demanding career full of challenges and rewards. You may take pictures during the ceremony, but you are kindly invited to do so, remaining at your seat.
The parade square and the reserved seating area is prohibited to all guests. Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez s'il vous plaît vous lever. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Mesdames et Messieurs, vous pouvez vous asseoir. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. The reviewing of the story for today. The reviewing of the story for today's ceremony is Lieutenant Colonel Sean Corti, MSM CD, Commander, Canadian Forces Logistic Training Center. Born and raised in Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada, in a French-speaking household, Lieutenant Colonel Sean Corti joined the military out of high school in March 1991. Upon receiving his commission in 1993, Lieutenant Colonel Corti completed his undergraduate studies at the University of New Brunswick and subsequently pursued his civilian career in security enforcement while remaining active in the primary reserve force as a logistic officer. Post 9-11, Lieutenant Colonel Kulti's military training and employment opportunity increased to the point where he decided to change his security enforcement to a military career. Lieutenant Colonel Kulti's dedication in developing the future leaders of the Canadian Armed Force has enabled him to export his knowledge and skill domestically and internationally to several training centers where he continues to advocate collaborative learning by promoting international exchange opportunities to his subordinate and students.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the arrival of the Commandant Canadian Forces Logistic Training Center, Lieutenant Colonel Sean Crook, accompanied by Canadian Forces Leadership and Recruit School Chief Warrant Officer, La Voie, MMM C. Mesdames et Messieurs, vous pouvez vous asseoir. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Present the Commandant's pennant for excellence to the platoon that attained the highest overall score above, above the benchmark of merit. La tradition de l'école de leadership et de recrues veut que le fanion du commandant pour l'excellence soit remis au peloton ayant obtenu la meilleure note globale au-dessus de la marque de référence pour le mérite. De la division de Charlie, le peloton Keba s'est vu décerner le fanion du commandant pour l'excellence. We will now proceed with the presentation of trophies to deserving candidates who finish top at their course and who demonstrate the most desirable qualities in career service member. Le trophée de commandant est remis aux recrues qui ont terminé premier de leur cours et qui ont démontré le plus de qualités souhaitables chez un militaire de carrière. The trophies presented by the Commandant Canadian Forces Logistics Training Center, Lieutenant Colonel Kurt. Le top candidats, uh, the top candidates are, les meilleurs candidats sont, du peloton Québec, soldat Hassel Paris. Sir! From Walker Platoons, Private Schlatter. Sir! From Hall Platoon, Private Welch. The next presentation will be the Royal Canadian Legion Comradeship Trophy. The trophy is awarded to the candidates who exemplify the most the spirit of comradeship, comradeship as chosen by their peers. The trophy is presented by Master Warrant Officer Retired Yves Lavoie, CD. Adjudant maître traité, Yves Lavoie joint les forces canadiennes le 17 avril 1972. Suite à son entraînement à l'ELRC, Il fait son cours de métier à Borden comme opérateur mobile de matériel de soutien. During his military career, Master Warrant Yves Lavoie served with the 5th Service Battalion at CFB Valcartier in Quebec. Suscontably, 
He was posted to Sevi Arawa, North and Rockcliffe, Ontario, Sevi Winnipeg North, Manitoba, Sevi Borden, Ontario, and back with the 5th Service Battalion, where he worked at the Montreal and St. John Garrison. Monsieur Lavoie a également servi avec le contingent des Nations Unies en Israël entre 1975 et 1979. Et en 2003, a complété deux tours. Et en 2003, a complété deux tours opérationnels avec les opérations Eureka au territoire du Nord-Ouest en 1982 et 1987. Master Warrant Officer retired Yves Lavoie is an active member of the Royal Canadian Legion, Branch 6. 79 Richelieu, where he occupied different positions. He is currently the new president of the branch. He is a member of the United Nations Veteran Association as well as a member of the Royal 22nd Regiment Veteran Association. During his military career, he was awarded the following medals and decoration. Canadian Peacekeeping Service Medal, United Nation, Nation Observation Force in Israel, Medan, Medal, Three Tour, Canadian Elizabeth II Golden Jubilee Medals, Canadian Forces Decoration, Two Bars. L'adjoint maître Yves Lavoie a pris sa retraite des Forces canadiennes en avril 2005 après avoir complété 33 années de service. Mesdames et Messieurs, Ladies and Gentlemen, Monsieur Yves Lavoie. The Royal Canadian Legion Commonship Trophy is present to Le Trophy de la Camaraderie de la Légion Royale Canadienne est présenté à Du Peloton Québec, Soldat Hassan Paris. Sir! From Barker Platoons, Private Cadwell. Sir! From Hall Platoon, Private Penny. Le tous penel withdraw. À ce moment-ci de la cérémonie, nous procéderons au retrait des fagnons peloton. Lorsque les recrues complètent avec succès l'examen d'exercice élémentaire, chaque peloton se voit confié par leur commandant de peloton, un fagnon aux couleurs de sa division. Ce fagnon est emporté par tous les candidats avant et, en le remettant ainsi à leur commandant de peloton, symbolise l'aboutissement de leur entraînement de base. We will now proceed with the withdrawal of the platoon penel. Upon successful scrutiny, Completing the drill exam, each platoon is assigned by their platoon commander a pennant bearing their division colors. This pennant is carried wherever the candidates go and by the handover of the pennant back to their platoon commander symbolize the end of their basic training. We now ask the platoon commanders to come forward. Nous demandons maintenant au commandant de peloton de bien vouloir s'avancer. Du peloton Cable, adjudant Maheu, Sidi. From Barker Platoons, Warrant Officer Pinar CD. From All Platoon, Captain Valia. Du Platon Cable, Soldat Ténier.
From Barker Pitoon, Sailor Third Class Salomon. Sir, we march through the mist. We march through the mist. We drop through the snow. We drop through the snow. Up one tree, we don't take no. Up one tree, we don't take no. We find we lost our silly song. We find we lost our silly song. We do not go to kids' stuff. We do. From home to two, Sailor Third Class, Adam. <laughs>